thought I was going mad. I thought I was losing my mind completely. I'd leave my flat, I'd go out, I'd get lost. I couldn't remember where I was going. And when I was diagnosed with that, for the first instance, I thought, thank God they put an end to it. What was wrong with me? And then I come home and then I plunged down again because I thought, well, I live on my own. How am I going to manage? How, what's going to happen to me? And that's really where the services in North East Lincolnshire come in. Like what's going to happen? What can we support you with? What's going, what can we do for you to help you next? It's really, really important to go to your GP and get a diagnosis early because then you have the best chance of being able to live well with dementia and get the support you need right from point of diagnosis onwards. Dementia advisors are normally the first port of call when somebody contacts us. A dementia advisor would um, take the history, talk to them a little bit about our services, find out what sort of information they need and whether there's any particular information, advice or signposting they need at the moment. Um, and the dementia advisor will be with them all the way through the journey. We're here really as point of contact throughout the diagnosis. Um, so they have contact with their dementia advisor and they know who they can contact throughout that journey and their information needs will change. So during the earlier stages of their um, diagnosis it might be that they want to know about a little bit more about the diagnosis, about social activities for example, uh, how they can make the most of their life. If um, somebody needs a little bit more than advice and information, um, if they need some support, if they need somebody to talk things through, talk about maybe what's happening with, with the person that they're supporting. Um, we have a dementia um, support team as well. Um, and also the, the dementia support team provide the cafes and memory cafes that we have throughout North and North East Links. Um, the memory cafes are um, a place where people with dementia and their carers come to together. Um, it's somewhere that's safe, it's somewhere that's non-threatening and non-judgmental. Everybody understands, nobody's going to say, what's the matter with him, he's just asked me that twice, because everybody is in the same position. We have singing for the brain groups and lots of other social activity groups, such as tea dancers, um, and we've recently starting up some activity groups. Um, a new one is uh, going to be the art therapy group. Music is very beneficial to everybody, you know, whether you're in full health, but it's particularly um, beneficial to your memory um, and just your general sense of, of well-being. There's a lot of good people in the world, but don't, don't be frightened. It's not the end of the world. I thought at first it was, it's not. I mean, I'm, I feel as on top of the world at the moment because I get the help and I know that I'm not alone. And it's a nice feeling, a lovely feeling to know you're not on your own. The Alzheimer's Cafe. Now, if people don't go there, I recommend they go there because it really is fun. It's fun. People, people don't judge you because they're all there and everybody knows why you're there. And, and it's fun. And that's really what we're passionate about promoting in the area and also nationally. It's just how we can support people to live well. And when I say people, I mean people with dementia, their carers, their family members. Just support them to get the most out of their life. It's a really beautiful thing to see and I feel really privileged that we get to witness that and witness somebody's journey from point of diagnosis onwards. And hopefully we can support them to have a better journey than they would if they didn't have our support. There is a lot of help out there, uh, maybe people don't know, but don't be frightened, don't be frightened to ask, don't be frightened to ask. Oh,